heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and Du Ho Choi. For my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. It's exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the T-Mobile Arena. It's hard to believe this venue hasn't even been open five years when you think about all the big events that has held Conor versus Khabib. You beat Steve Day to become the double champ inside these very walls. You get chills being back tonight, champ. I'm getting chills being back at the T-Mobile Arena. I love this venue. And I'm going to tell you one last thing before the fight night starts. After you're done, take a walk outside and take a gander at the side of the building. You can see your boy DC, prominent of prominent of high in the rafters. Up those two oh. What a great arena, the T-Mobile Arena. And that Vegas air feels oh. like a hair dryer in your face. <laughs> it's so hot. What a punch. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just missed with the left there. Single collar tie now. Big, straight left. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Pretty good right hand. Real sneak by Both guys really throwing with authority. Well, a lot of people 
people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Big punch land. Ooh. That right hand landed. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in some great punch. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that one. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! He's giving it to oh. Unbelievable. Back to the feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Got the single collar tie. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. Back and forth we go. Let's go. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, single collar tie now. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block for the strike. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big knee to the body. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Huge damage from that elbow. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, straight right. Gotta be careful, Armbar. 
Palmer's been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right into side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Oh, wow, oh! There it is. He's on the arm bar now. Oh, that's gonna do it in a quick tap from there as yeah, he gets it got done by submission. He got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. The Korean Superboy does it again! All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by tap out, the Korean Super Bowl, Duho Chong. Alright, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the ground, 